there's colleges that are working all remotely right now. And I think that's another thing going back to that point. Like now people will start realizing that colleges are really not as useful as people thought they were, you know, because you can do everything looking at your computer. Then why do you need to go to an institution that costs you thousands, if not hundreds of thousands of dollars? Yeah, yeah. that's a big, that's a big problem right now. Cause I'm in, a, I'm a college student right now and we've done everything remotely and a bunch of people are getting pissed off that we haven't waived all the fee waivers, like the gym waiver we're still paying, the student services waiver we're still paying. Um, a bunch of these on-campus waivers that we're still paying, we're not even using. And a bunch of the students are signing petitions, getting so pissed off that we still have to pay it, even though nobody gets to use it. Right. Yeah. It's a, you know, there's a, there's a lot of stuff happening. So, but the, the technology there, there's a lot of money, right? Like uh, online internet learning, there's a lot of money in there. You know, people want to learn something, then there's a lot of money in that industry. Digital communications, right? Things that happen during Zoom or you're doing things like on uh, Google Meet, like what we're using, you know? So platforms like this that enable you know, remote work to be carried out in an efficient and scalable manner, you're going to make money. So you got to figure out like what industry you want to be in. You know, if people have skills within, let's say, uh, you know, aviation, like, let's say you were a flight attendant. And you got kind of laid off and you just couldn't, you know, you didn't have a job anymore. What could you do? Now, unfortunately, like if you're very old, it's hard for you to develop new skills, you know. So the, the best thing is like you got to figure out how you can use your skills that you do have, like some knowledge in the airline aviation industry and how you can create a product or sell a product or work for a company where you have ideas to give uh, to the company and the company can hire you for these ideas, you know, to implement them. Would you recommend for people learning these skills, um, just generic online courses, Khan Academy, Coursera, Udemy, or would you rather go, um, if you're going more specific into a software company or software role, a boot camp? Um, what, what, what would you recommend? Uh, I, it just depends where you're going. I mean, for some people, I wouldn't recommend either, right? If they're not going to a tech company or they're not trying to code their life you know, away, then I wouldn't recommend it. But like, in terms of people that are computer science or oriented towards going to tech jobs, I would definitely say that you you should look, first of all, go to LinkedIn, right? Uh, I know you made like a TikTok uh, video that kind of gave some job advice, and that was awesome because, you know, you mentioned that if you really want to connect with a recruiter, you go to LinkedIn, right? And you go to this person, you message them, and you figure out. So the best thing is to figure out where you want to work. Like, what's your dream company to work at? it's not a time to forget about your dreams. You know, you, you have to have yeah. a dream. You have to be, you know, hopeful, excited about the next opportunity because um, the next opportunity will be bigger and better. So once you figure out like, hey, I want to work in an industry, go reach out to people on LinkedIn. Be like, hey, what do you think? What's happening in this industry? Hey, how do you think I can get a job here? Um, and then they'll tell you like, hey, you know, we're looking for uh, development operations managers uh, that know things on the cloud infrastructure of, you know, Microsoft Azure, for example, then you got to find a boot camp or Khan Academy or Coursera, like courses that map to that skill because you found a demand. Somebody's told you there's a demand for those skills. And then you go fetch, you know, wherever that information is, whether it's Coursera or a boot camp or a Khan Academy, wherever it is. But you got to figure out what the skill is. That's more important because you got to fill a demand then, you know, just, oh, I want to do whatever. Yeah, that makes sense. And um, the biggest thing is you got to find something that you want to do. Um, because if you're going to put all this work into finding a dream job and, oh, yeah. you know, working your, your butt off to get that dream job, you got to find something that's passionate enough for you to sustain that throughout however long it takes. And if you don't find something that you're passionate about, you'll probably just give it up super easily. Yeah, I agree, man.